Hi, everybody. I'm Louis Amistoy with PE.com and the Press Enterprise. We're here from Mount San Jacinto College in San Jacinto for the 2010 election road trip, part of our coverage plan here. But, uh, Nels, uh, we've got uh, some interesting headlines today here on the Inland News Minute. Uh, first, Kevin Cooper, convicted murder and death row inmate, is back in court today. He is asking the San Diego Superior Court to review the DNA evidence from his 1983 uh, quadruple murder conviction of uh, two children and two adults uh, in Chino Hills. Uh, if so, it would be the third time uh, in his case that that DNA evidence has been reviewed. Now, Nels, we've got some news coming out of the Saboba Band of Los Angeles Indians, which is right next door here in uh, San Jacinto. Uh, what's the news out of yeah, there? Uh, a former chair, uh, Bobby Salgado, who is facing 36 felony counts of bribery, has now confessed to accepting $875,000 in bribes. Uh, as part of that, uh, that plea, 34 of those 36 counts uh, you know, have been dropped, but he is facing uh, up to 13 years in prison on those two felony counts of bribery. All right, and some news out of Sandbag. Uh, yeah, the so the transportation San group. Bernardino Associated Governments has approved a feasibility study for toll lanes. Uh, they're talking about the possibility of a total of 67 miles of toll lanes. They would be split pretty evenly on I-10 from the L.A. County line uh, to Redlands and on the 15 from the Riverside County line to Hesperia. So obviously a very uh, interesting development there. I, I feel like that, that, that I might add some gridlock to that, to that uh, 10 commuter as well. Or, very or interesting some to see. alternative routes alternative for routes, people right. who don't want to pay for. Exactly. Very interesting to see. All right. For those of you who are wondering about the weather, well, of course, it's been kind of dreary and wet uh, the last couple of days. But believe it or not, I'll be back into the 80s over the weekend. So keep an eye on that and check on PE.com or on your mobile apps uh, for more weather updates. Now we're here at Mount Sessano College, as we said. We've got uh, more political forums here. We just got done with the New View Union School District. We had two candidates come. But we expect a full house later today for four more, uh, four more forums, including the San Jacinto Unified School District, the Hemet Unified School District, the San Jacinto City Council, and the Hemet City Council as That's well. That's right. And the San Jacinto City Council, uh, Tonight, the forum, we expect to have as many as 15 candidates. Of course, that's a very lively uh, race as, as you have a recall and, and some indictments right. as well. Right. And we expect to have uh, 10 or 11 from the Hemet City Council as well. So we'll have a good crowd here. Tune in on P.com. Should be a, a very interesting evening. And tomorrow we'll be in Menifee for Southwest Riverside County, day one of two for, for that uh, venue as well. We conclude everything on Friday at 2 o'clock with the Lake Elsinore City Council. For Nels Jensen, I'm Lewis Hamastoy here from San Jacinto and P.com and the Press Enterprise. We'll see you soon.